So you finally decided it was time to adopt a dog and you made a great decision by checking out your local shelter. But have you ever wondered how much work goes into those dogs before you arrive? In this week's adoption file, check out this tale about a group of volunteers from Rawhide Rescue in New Jersey and a cute little puppy from Arkansas named Sunny Boy. Rawhide Rescue is a nonprofit organization founded in New Jersey in 2001. We're a network of foster homes and volunteers that operate without a shelter. Every Saturday morning, rain or shine, our volunteers get up at o dark 30 and 6 o'clock in the morning, they are meeting the volunteers coming up from the south. To prepare for the arrival of these dogs, there's a lot of work to be done. In the south, they have to make sure that the dogs are ready to travel. They have to meet medical veterinary standards. On our end, we start by planning on what foster homes will be able to handle these dogs. How many do you have in there, Kyle? About 75. 75? Where are you going from here? To New York. Yeah. Pick up dogs from uh, Arkansas, Western Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and uh, drive straight through to here. This is our first stop on Saturday morning. And then we go from here uh, up through New York, Connecticut, uh, and all the way to New Hampshire. In the Northeast, spaying and neutering has become much more of an accepted method of dealing with overpopulation. In the South, however, that's not yet the case. We're finding homes for dogs that would otherwise be euthanized. a little bit more concerned. She said she has no clue where she is and she says life hasn't been good to her so she said she's not sure what what it has in store. Lucy has a home already Laura? Yeah? Potential. Yes. Potential home, yes. This little guy's name is Frost. He was dumped at a vet's office. They didn't want him, they just dumped him at the vet's office. Yeah, I guess that's one of the nicer places to get robbed. My wife and I, Pam and I, started doing this about three years ago, and since we've done it, we've helped save over 12,000 dogs. Ingo, this is one of yours. That's oh Sunny, God. Sunny Boy. Oh my God. Did you have a good trip? They do so well in the transport. He's ready to go. He's probably ready to go to the bathroom, too. <laughs> okay, guys, see you in a bit. We have arrived at Hayhill Kennels. This is where we're going to gather a couple of the dogs that we saw earlier today, specifically Sunny Boy and uh, Lucy. This is the what we call the mange puppy. We don't even know if it's mange. It could be ringworm. Ringworm is highly contagious. Uh, you got to make sure you wash your hands. This puppy could cost us $1,000, $2,000 to actually have it taken care of at the vet. Some of them actually die. It gets so bad that you can't cure it. Look at her. She, oh, good, good girl. Very nice. Okay, bye-bye. Who is that? Well, that was the woman who was coming to, uh, to look at Lucy today. She is calling to let, let us know she's canceling the appointment because she just doesn't think she's ready. So the good news is that we have a woman who's not sure uh, and she's, she's going to hold off. And we really want to know that people are ready to adopt before they come and take a dog away and then might change their mind or not take care of the dog. He was one of 11 puppies. He was rescued thanks to a, a good Samaritan that called our volunteer and facilitated his rescue. The young couple that is coming in live in an apartment and we have ordered down the reference checks and made sure that the landlord is okay with them having a dog. And if for some reason that doesn't work out, then we'll keep him and he's gonna be in a foster home until we do find him a great home. We're here to, to show you some puppies and um, we want to just go through uh, some of the key issues in the adoption process. Before adopting a dog, people need to consider a number of things. One, 
Are they truly ready for a dog, or is this just an emotional decision? Is this is your first puppy? Sure. I had dogs all my life okay. back in Sri Lanka. Okay. But this is my first puppy in the United States. Okay. Are they also committed in terms of the time? A dog can live anywhere like 13, from 13 to 15 years or more. If for any reason you could not keep the puppy, you need to contact Rawhide Rescue. Okay. All right. This puppy is never ever to land in a shelter. This is Sunny Boy. <laughs> do you want to go outside and, and chat a little bit? Why don't you do that, okay? Okay, great. That's fine. You have a little conference. This year alone, we've placed, we're going to be placing probably 500 plus dogs. Of those, about 200 are puppies and some adult dogs coming from the south. Hi. We'll go with Brown. This is just a wonderful, happy ending. Now we're going to focus on the other four that came in with Sunny Boy. And next Saturday, 6 o'clock in the morning, we'll be back there because this never ends. Welcome to the family, Sunny Boy. <laughs>